So in the pursuit of the perfect budget earbuds, we're getting very close to the QC-wise with their range of earbuds, but more and more companies, even reputable ones, are starting to launch earbuds at a ridiculously cheap price. Heaven just knows what it wants Will I go back to the place where I belong? Everyone could break my heart but I try my best to not fall apart Today we're taking a look at two of Lenovo's budget range of earbuds to see if this big brand can produce something good at a budget price point. Welcome to a review of the Lenovo LP1 NXT90. Hello, my name is Sean and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of tech reviews as well as unboxing and if that is something that interests you, do consider subscribing to the channel, leave a thumbs up on this video as well as share this video to all your friends around. And with that said, let's get on with a review of the Lenovo LP1 and XT90. The Lenovo LP1 and XT90 is their range of budget earbuds. I'm honestly surprised that they actually have something at this price range, knowing Lenovo as this premium computer maker. Today's set of earbuds is sent to me for review from Banggood and they sell a wide variety of products including many tech-related gadgets. Although these earbuds were sent to me, I will still be providing my honest opinion so you know what you're getting into before buying these earbuds. The LP1 and XT90 are priced the same, both at US 17 and that is about 70 Malaysia ringgit. And so Searching around the internet, you should be able to get this at a handsome discount at US 10. So this gives you an idea of how budget these earbuds really are. Honestly, when I opened these earbuds, I was kind of disappointed with the overall build quality of these earbuds. Maybe it's my expectation with the Lenovo brand. My monitor is from Lenovo and they make super high quality products, but these are a different realm altogether. I kind of think that these may be OEM products and may not be directly from Lenovo itself. So both of these earbuds have a plasticky build. Honestly, nothing exciting with the LP1 having a more interesting looking case with the white and black and it also comes in white and red if that's something that you like. Both have a Lenovo branding in the front here and a charging indicator below that. So flipping the case to the bottom, both of these earbuds come with USB Type-C charging port so at least for something budget, it still comes with a modern charging port. So the lid of the LP1 is very smooth and stays open when you tilt them around which is pretty cool. And on the other hand, the lid of the XT90, it does stays in place when you open them so it stays open like this. But to be honest, it has a very super cheap plasticky feeling when you open the lid and it just doesn't feel very nice. And inside, both of these earbuds are your typical in-ear style earbuds and have very funky shapes for an earbud. So the LP1 is shaped in a way that it slots into your ear very snugly, which is a good sign of a comfy earbud. But if you look at the shape of it, it's a little bit odd, but it does point directly into your ear canals, which is really nice. And the rest of it, the stem of the LP1 is pretty basic, round with a microphone on the stem and the tip is an oddly shape in ear style earbuds. And the XT90's tip has the shape of the AirPods Pro and the stem itself has the rounded shape on the front with a very flat side. And the material of the XT90 is really not the fanciest and new out of the box. It does kind of look scratchy and looks old and frankly nothing special. Both of these earbuds gives you about 3 hours of continuous playback time but the case of the XT90 is bigger and gives you about total 20 hours of total playback time compared to the 12 hours of the LP1. Both of these earbuds take about one and a half hours hours to fully charge. For something at this price point, we're getting basic stuff in 2020 and at least we're not getting older Bluetooth versions. So both of these earbuds come with Bluetooth 5.0 and supports both the AAC as well as SBC audio codec. The LP1 is rated with an IPX4 water resistant rating and the XT90 is rated to have an IP54 rating. So from a water resistance standpoint, both of these are the same, but the XT90 somehow is rated to be more dust proof. So both of these earbuds should withstand sweat, water splashes and getting caught under the rain shouldn't be much of a problem for both of these earbuds. Both of these earbuds supports independent use and supports mono and stereo mode. They may not be as seamless as some of the modern earbuds we've tested, but at least they support connectivity on both earbuds, which is pretty decent for 2020 budget earbuds. 
Lastly, both of these earbuds do not support multi-point connectivity, but you can connect them to multiple devices, but not at the same time. Okay, so I know I've been pretty harsh on these earbuds so far, but not everything is that bad. So the sound quality of the LP1 is actually pretty decent with very good average sound signature across the range. It's like the Goldilocks sound signature if you ask me, which is just nice. Uh, but you can hear the mids and highs can be a little bit brighter and the low ends could also be a little bit deeper. So that's the sound signature that you get from the Lenovo LP1. On the Lenovo XT90 on the other hand, sounds, to be honest, very cheapo earbuds. And if you're Malaysian like me, I'll classify the sound signature to be Pasa Malam level earbuds quality. So the sound signature is very messy, everything feels jumbled up, clarity is muddy, and the bass is pretty flat. So honestly, for sound quality, I really don't recommend the XT90. So if you want to budget earbuds with decent quality, maybe the LP1 still has a chance. So the call quality on both of these earbuds are not the best. Yeah, you can still use them for calls and it works, but they're both not the clearest call quality I've heard. The LP1 is pretty okay, but the XT90 has this digital interference sound when you make phone calls, so which is not very nice overall. Anyway, let's take a listen to the call quality test of these earbuds. So this is the test to see if the Lenovo LP1 is a good earbud for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can see the difference. So now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from the earbud. So this is the best to see if the Lenovo XT90 is a good earbud from the phone call. So this is going to be a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So now what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can see the difference. So now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background, and this is the call quality that you can expect from this earbuds. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. So these earbuds seems to be fitted with maybe an earlier Bluetooth 5.0 chipset because I do notice a tiny bit of delay when watching videos both on YouTube and Netflix. For gaming, I think it becomes more obvious when you can see both struggling to keep up with latency in game. Anyway, let's take a look at the latency performance of these earbuds. So I'm just going to summarize the controls of both of these earbuds and they do both let you control most stuff when you come to expect from your earbuds and even includes volume control. So for the LP1 itself, to play a pause media and pick up phone calls, tap once on either side of the earbuds and it will play a pause your media. To skip tracks forward, triple tap on the right earbuds and to skip backwards, triple tap on the left earbuds. To increase the volume, double tap on the right earbuds and to decrease the volume, double tap on the left earbud. And to call out your assistant, double tap and hold on either earbuds and it will call out your assistant. And for the XT90, single tap on either side of the earbuds lets you play or pause your media and pick up phone calls. And to skip tracks forward, triple tap on the right earbuds and to skip backwards, triple tap on the left earbuds to skip backwards. To increase the volume, press and hold on the left earbuds and to decrease the volume, press and hold on the right earbuds. To call out your assistant, tap twice on either side of the earbuds and it will call out your assistant. So maybe it's me and maybe I had too much expectation for these earbuds and this brand. I really hope it to be good, but it was ultimately a budget earbud. And if you truly, truly need to get one for a spare, get the LP one. Else I would say spend a little bit more and check out some of QCY's earbuds. And I'll put a link up here to the playlist of all the QCY earbuds that I've checked out previously. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere. And if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.